the odd ones out back again i miss youtube rewinds i mean i ain't gonna lie bro i've heard a lot of negative things about youtube rewinds i can't pinpoint really specific because I, I don't know i just feel like whenever it's being like whenever it's a topic of conversation I just feel like somebody always has to say something negative about it. You know what I'm saying? But let's see. Guys, I have a brilliant idea. What if we do the In My Feelings Challenge? What do you think? What's the In My Fe <laughs> Feelings Challenge? <sighs> it was that dance people did outside of their moving cars in 2018. That's stupid. <laughs> I know. It's weird to me that YouTube Rewind 2018 came out over five years ago, which makes yep. it old enough to be something to reminisce about. There's a fresh generation. Makes it old enough to be something to reminisce about. Wait. Why? <laughs> Why is Will Smith on this, bro? There's a fresh generation of iPad kids who don't get to experience the yearly tradition of coming. iPad kids. That's a crazy man. Coming together as a community and watching the newest YouTube Rewind. And absolutely hating it. In case you all forgot, the website YouTube.com used to make these celebratory videos showcasing yep. all the important events and memes that it actually let me see. Make these celebratory. 10, 11, video. 2011, who is that? Is that the girl that, that, that sang Friday, bro? Those showcase. Let me see. See if I notice anybody. We got, uh, uh, Gavin from Rooster Teeth. Yup. Sing all the. On this one. We got, I don't know. None of these people, Important bro. We got Markiplier. Ah, I forgot her name. I forgot her name. We got Marquise. Yo. Is that her? I think that's her. I forgot her name, bro. I forgot her name, too. Damn it. Events and memes. Let me see. KSI. Casey. Fidget Spinner. Sheesh. Remember that? Ninja. Uh, is that Swoozy? Oh, that boss Swoozy, cool. I just reacted to his video. Said it happened throughout okay. the year. And all these you showcasing all the important events and memes that had happened throughout the year. And all these YouTubers would get together and do a silly Fred. little dance Sheesh. and everyone had a grand old time. And since these videos were produced by the very platform you're currently watching this on, yo, yo, yo. Rewinds would always receive a lot of attention. There it is. Now, according to my Will memory, Smith. YouTube Rewinds were pretty well received at first. There it is. Yeah, literally, bro. Literally, this is, this is what it is, just negative. But you see, as time went on, the general public and the YouTubers involved started to grow weary. People were throwing around words like cringe and this isn't what YouTube represents and ah, that's that. Ah, that's that. And it all accumulated to YouTube's <laughs> magnum opus, YouTube Rewind 2018. Everyone controls rewind. Hashtag YouTube Rewind. Which is a video that was so universally hated that it holds the world record for most disliked video Damn. ever. A record it will now hold perpetually because of the whole dislike thing. The audience wasn't happy, Damn. the YouTubers involved That's weren't crazy. happy, until finally YouTube snapped and was like, All right, fine, if no one wants it, we'll stop doing it. We were just doing this as a favor anyways. And so YouTube discontinued the Rewind project indefinitely, with 2018 being the last time we ever got a Rewind. What, what, what about me, James? How dare you even consider yourself worthy of being called a Rewind 2019? <laughs> a top 10 oh, video? Oh, really? anything after that? At least 2011 had Rebecca Black hosting. Leave 2019. Rebecca Black, yeah, that's the ghost, right? 
before I tell you the top 10 ways on how I'm gonna hurt you. So getting back to the actual last YouTube Rewind, you know, the one with the most dislikes in the whole world. If we skip to three minutes and two seconds into that video, we see, guys, let's do the In My Feelings Challenge. Oh, geez. That's me. I know I'm a little late to the party, but Still since we've all had enough time to grow and reflect as people, I would like to finally share some of my thoughts and experiences working on YouTube Rewind 2018. The first thing I want to talk about is how none of the YouTubers involved got any type of monetary compensation. At least none of the ones I talked to did. This was a big issue yeah. that a lot of other YouTubers had in their expose videos, but I personally was not bothered by it. Was I getting... Yeah, because like, all right, think about it. You're on YouTube Rewind and you're part of it. Uh, obviously, your name's going to be plastered on there. Assuming, right? You're going to gain traction from just that alone. So it's like, would you rather be compensated monetarily or exposed, right? Just your name out there. Um, some might pick the, oh, just put my name in there. Hopefully, I get some, some, some support. Or no, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need the bread. You know what I'm saying? Me, I probably would have taken the bread for real because of you know, as the years kept going on, YouTube Rewind just got worse. So I'd be like, nah, gang, just give me the bread. You know what I'm saying? Paid in exposure? Yes. In fact, I actually lost money doing this because I had to get Damn. my friend Rush to animate some of the scenes. So I, you know, paid him for his work. But what I'm trying to tell you is the that man's. as much as I'm about to complain about YouTube Rewind, don't feel any sort of empathy for me. Okay, I, I did this to myself. I think the best piece of advice I could give you <laughs> is that if YouTube ever reaches out to you and is like, hey, do you want to be a part of Rewind? You should say, mm, let me read the script first. But I didn't know that in 2018. And I also didn't know money. that in 2017. If you look at YouTube Rewind 2017. Oh my God. I see this. Shit. Gotta move myself. Do you guys see this shit, bro? <sighs> ah, a bunch of weirdos who ate that shit, bro. Stupid. And I also didn't know that in 2017. If you look at YouTube Rewind 2017 and watch all the way to the end, keep going. Right there. Right there in the credits is me and Jaden doing a floss. Hey, Jaden! It was. A lot cooler back then. They also wanted all the animators to animate our characters in the middle of a jello fight. And I think they wanted to put our cartoon characters over footage of real life YouTubers in the middle of a jello fight, but they gave us no direction. And I don't think they ever filmed a scene <laughs> where they were like, <laughs> but they gave us. <laughs> he said that's jello, that shit look like paint no direction Yummy. and i don't think they ever filmed a scene <laughs> where they were like okay real life youtubers it's remember to leave pack. that spot empty because that's where the Party animated play. guy is gonna go because you know they got to plan that kind of stuff out ahead of time right so instead they just threw our unusable animated jello fight with no background at the very end as this extremely out of place post credit scene so 2017 yeah. was pretty uneventful for me like yeah i was in youtube rewind but you know i was in the credits Who's going to stick around and watch the credits, you know? No one. <laughs> but 2018 was going to be my year. Rewind wanted me back, and this time they were giving me a speaking role. Peace. Holy shit. My line was going to be, guys, let's do the In My Feelings Challenge. And then the YouTuber Swoozy, who would be in his real Olé. life uniform, would say, right? And then we'd fist bump Who Framed Roger Rabbit style. So do you remember that trend in 2018 where yeah, people were doing that dance outside of their moving car? Well, apparently that was. Oh, that boy. Nah, see, fuck everybody else. That bike man over there in the motorcycle. Yeah, he got it. He got it. Called the in my it. feelings challenge back in 2018. I didn't even know it was called that. I thought it was called stupid. Now, if you've at all <laughs> watched YouTube Rewind 2018, everyone controls rewind, hashtag YouTube Rewind, you might be wondering why after I specifically suggest we do the In My Feelings Challenge that not a single YouTuber or talk show host can be seen dancing outside of a moving vehicle. That's because YouTube didn't want to promote unsafe behavior. So they didn't want to show anyone dancing outside of a car. So 
they weren't really doing the challenge then, were they? YouTube, if you don't want to promote unsafe behavior, Damn, don't promote the ass. In My F***ing Feelings Challenge. Kids are still going to look up the In My Feelings Challenge and then watch multiple videos exactly. of people dancing outside. You could at least like put a disclaimer, disclaimer. Done by professionals in a safe environment. Just some, some disclaimer, right? Just something. Of cars on YouTube. <laughs> we don't want to promote unsafe behavior. It's on your platform, exactly. dog. You know, looking back. It's so, bro. This platform got his, it got his things, bro. I can react to this. And just because he's swearing, let's say he didn't blur out a swear. He said a swear. My video gets clapped. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's so much, so many things, bro, that, that YouTube has that they need to fix, bro. I got yellow marked the other day for a swear at a certain point in the video that they claimed I swear in. I didn't even say a swear. There was no swear in that part, specific section, and they still yellow marked it. That should have been my first red flag, but I was still optimistic. I was so excited to be a part of this huge project, and I knew there were going to be a bunch of YouTubers involved, but I was going to be one of the few animated ones. I was going to stand out. Yo. I was going to be the odd one out. Knowing hey. how Rewind handled animation in 2017, when they asked me to be a part of 2018, I told them, hey, love the line, but I think it would be a good idea if we met in person, you know, and that way you can show me everything you're planning, and I can ask you all the right questions. They said no. And they agreed and okay, invited okay, me okay, to okay, visit okay, the okay, set okay, the okay. day they were filming Swoozie's line. Bit. So I was there, physically behind the camera, when Swoozie said, right, and then fist bumped nothing. I got to experience what it was like to be on a real film set with actors and directors and costumes and catering and makeup. And it was a lot, honestly, for just one line. And maybe it was because they had booked Swoozie for a full hour, but they had this beautiful man say, right? And then fist bump nothing, no less than 50 times. It's one line, guys. I think we got it. <laughs> Bro, it's like at the, um, I seen it the other day too. Um... During award shows, like VMAs and stuff like that, the Oscars, uh, they'll have actors like in an animated movie, like, like, like for, I don't know, for Pixar, right? It was actually Alex Bale's Pixar theory. Check that out. But in there, he was showing clips of like the VMAs and Oscars or whatever, whatever you call it, right? Of, you know, real life people looking at empty seats, just like Susie did. And laughing and I'm like, what that shit cringe, bro. And then after like take 87, my stomach sank when the director said, okay, Swoozy, how about you try saying, guys, let's do the In My Feelings challenge. Wait a minute. That's my line. That's my line. Are we changing it? Which line am I animating now? Do you right. want me to do both? Just like how you got Swoozy to do both? And what? Oh, you'll pick your favorites? I asked the director right there which line was I animating, and he said he was going to let me know. And then we went outside and filmed Swoozy dance in front of a brick wall, and which parts of him dancing was I going to animate my guy next to? He said he was going to let me know that too. So I took all the information I learned that day and referred it back to the mm -hmm. other animators. What they wanted were two shots. They wanted five seconds of our characters dancing, and they wanted another shot of all of us sitting around a campfire singing horribly. After doing some quick math, I realized that if all seven of us animators did a five second dance, that would be 35 seconds of cartoons dancing, which for a YouTube rewind would be a lot of screen time. Yeah. I had a sinking feeling that they weren't going to be using our full five second yeah, clips. And they didn't. And they didn't even let me know. Now, for my life changing speaking role, I had to record my line on my own, which normally wouldn't be a problem. But in late 2018, Damn! line on my own, which nor Oh, that boy right here. That's the first time I see him, good. Damn. Normally wouldn't be a problem. But in late oh, 2018, yo. I had just moved to California. And I didn't have my own setup set up. And to make the whole situation worse, I was only given one week to finish my animation and record my line. So, you know, the clock was ticking. Now, I think the second best piece of advice I could give you is that if you're ever in need of a quick jerry-rigged sound booth, 
Go into your closet and hide under a comforter. In fact, hello, real life human James here. Hey! On a blue Yeti inside of a bathroom. The acoustics in here are terrible. Could you imagine voicing a cartoon character in this? Cut. Uh, Guys, let's do the In My Feelings Challenge. See, it doesn't work. Uh, now. All right, and now we're here inside of our makeshift sound booth, and you can That's crazy. hear the quality <laughs> change right away, you know. But I'll be recording with a comfort over my heavy light. Yeah, guys, we well, need me, you be me. I'm like, guys, let's do the In My Feelings Challenge. See, you know, we, we don't need expensive sound booths to have a good time. <laughs> But back in 2018, <laughs> I wanted the most important line in my career to be recorded in a professional sound booth. Jeez. Luckily, I was in luck. You see, California is one of the few places home to something called a YouTube space. A YouTube space advertises itself as a place to aid content creators, providing them with facilities to create content for their YouTube channels. And to access said you, pay. you needed at least 10,000 subscribers. Oh, he is there. weird they put a number on it, but I get it. Did I that go up or down? If it's still still 10K, we in there, bro. I'll be barge 50K. Yo. I had just moved to California. Speaking of, hold on. <laughs> the count is back. Hit your butt. Let, 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 let's hit 40K, 50K. California, I knew I was going to be hitting this place up Yo. all the time. When I first went to the YouTube space, I didn't call ahead or set up an appointment or anything because there wasn't an option to do so on the website. But I figured they would have to help me out, right? The line I needed to record was for a YouTube Rewind. And you're a YouTube space. Like, Susan personally asked me to be here, you know? <laughs> So I drove an hour to the space, Damn. I went inside, showed them my sub count, and they said that Ten in order to more. use the facilities, I had to fill out all these forms on my computer back home. Bruh. It's for you to rewind. Then I drove another <laughs> back home, but it's for you to rewind. <laughs> then I drove another hour back home and nah. started filling out the forms. Nah, what? Well, you couldn't pull up next door somewhere? December. <laughs> Man, I couldn't pull up to the store sign to do this. But by the time I got to the quizzes, I realized, huh, I think Damn. this wild goose chase is probably going to take longer than a week to resolve. Damn. With time running out, I gingerly... Man, could have just gone to a, like a music recording studio, bro. He asked my new friend Aaron if I could use his setup, and he said yes. And I didn't even have to show him my sub count. I mean, I showed him anyway, though. <laughs> So the line you hear me say in the 2018 Rewind was recorded in the Game Grumps office. Hey. Which I think means, at the very least, Game Grumps deserves to be credited in the description Yo, of Rewind. Facts. Come on, YouTube. They were the only ones who took me in when your own company turned facts, me away. Facts, facts. The deadline was fast approaching. I mean, it was fast approaching as soon as I got it. But I've been in crunch mode before, and I'm sure the nameless video editors were just trying to hit their impossibly tight deadlines too. I reminded myself what I was making all of these sacrifices for. Everyone was going to unanimously love this video and what it represents and look at my channel afterwards and subscribe. December 6, 2018. A day that changed history. It was raining that day. And the world was exposed to what YouTube had been cooking up. And they all collectively Will Smith. hated it. Crazy. Like, a lot. Bro, 3.1 million likes? How many dislikes? Ah, uh, like, to the point where I would be lucky if I didn't lose subscribers. <laughs> I think the audience knew that none of the YouTubers involved had any say in the creative process. It's usually how we it is. We were just reading our lines from YouTube. It's usually how it is, bro. Most times, things are already written for them. They just got to follow along and do their part. You know what I'm saying? Tube script, you know? So at least I get to say I'm in the most disliked video in history, and no one's too mad at me. Right? So <laughs> was all history, and no <laughs> one's too mad at me. Right? So <laughs> was all of this stress worth it? Yeah. I got paid in exposure, and the exposure was overwhelmingly negative. In fact, I Damn. think Rewind was... Paid in exposure, paid in money. I'm taking the bread, bro. I'd rather be rich than famous. Some people would rather be famous than rich. You know what I'm saying? Only positive for one other YouTuber. Do you have any guesses? Jaden motherfucking animations 
pulled off the biggest prank of 2018. <laughs> One of the reasons do. people disliked 2018's Rewind was because PewDiePie, the number one YouTuber at the time, wasn't included. But Jaden, being the genius that she is, knew he wasn't going to be included again, so she snuck in a PewDiePie reference into her five second dance, and no one caught it, and it made the final cut. Jaden was Word. crowned the least cringy part of Rewind. Yay. Everyone loved her, and she got a big boost in subscribers, and all Waited. I gotta say to that is... Good job, Jaden. Yo. How are you enjoying that cake and eating it too? Facts. Now, there are a lot of <laughs> valid reasons why people dislike 2018's Rewind. One of them being God, that bros. the video starts out with Will Smith? He's not a YouTuber. But they didn't seem to mind when 2016 started out with The Rock and 2017 started with The Colbert Show, but whatever. And I don't know if you remember what YouTube was like in 2018, but uh, it was in the news a couple of times, you know, you know, over a few small things. However, with all of that being said, he says small things. <laughs> I do genuinely Yo. miss YouTube rewinds. Getting to wake up and go, wow, it's December and a new YouTube rewind just dropped. I'm going to watch it. And then I get to see a handful of YouTubers I recognize do a dance and bro, not recognize. There's so many people that they should have put in these YouTube rewinds, bro. So many people. Any of the other YouTubers. And they don't. And then I get to see the rest of the internet's reaction to it. It's better than Christmas for me. Even if it's the cringiest video ever. We still all watched it together. <laughs> as a community and i think that's what i miss the most when youtube felt more like a community as long as it's not a top 10 video i welcome back youtube rewinds with open arms and if they do make a comeback i don't think i'd want to be a part of them not Damn. because i got burned in 2018 uh, no. but because i wouldn't want to rob another ignorant youtuber of the once in a lifetime opportunity to be taken advantage of and work for free crazy and be a part of history <laughs> crazy for to now, put it that we way just have to live with the nine <laughs> rewinds we do have but if you're like me and are just dying to see more youtube rewind content and i know you are because you're still here i've discovered a pretty massive easter egg in the description of Rewind 2018 is a link to Behind see the all the Easter eggs. And for your viewing pleasure are 13 brand new shorts that I can only describe as skits that were edited together with existing Rewind footage. I don't think that's what an Easter egg is. They're oh. not that funny and are pretty hard to watch, but isn't that what Rewind's all about? Have a good night. Key. Key. Yeah, late night. Yeah, baby. W video. Yeah, bro. Like I said in the beginning or like towards the, the yeah, the beginning, middle, I don't know. It just it just kept getting worse, bro. You know what I'm saying? It just kept getting worse, dog. Uh just constant negativity about it. People were saying it was cringe. People were complaining that some people weren't even in it. And that's what they be doing, bro. Even like uh, award shows, Oscars and all that, you'd think that this one person got it in the bag. They're going to win this uh, nomination. They're going to win this award because why fucking not? It, it just makes sense. It makes sense. You know what I'm saying? And then John Doe over here, we never heard over seen before, wins. Like how? You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Hey, that boy redid the thumbnail. Oh, yo. Nice, nice, nice. W video, bro. Our scene was Oscar worthy. I vote YouTube bring rewinds back, but with the 2013 rewind energy, massive explosions and all. W Swosey, you're not saying. Them canceling rewind and then following it up by disabling this like it's just the cherry on top. Remember when YouTube slogan was broadcast yourself? Those were the good times. Damn. I feel like we should get rewinds, but they should be community made. Like every year, each subdivision of a platform like gaming, animation, food, challenge, etc. They should get together to make a rewind for the previous year. The way we can sort of get quality control while still having the rewinds represented in the computer. That's kind of fire. That's actually kind of fire. That's a good ass idea for real, bro. Because since they'll, they'll all be split up, obviously, and then you just edit it all together to make sense. To kind of tell the storyline, I guess. And then boom. Got a decent YouTube rewind, bro. You know what I'm saying? W video, though. Let me know what you guys thought. That's my reaction. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.